So we're here at Slee Off-Road. It's the middle of the winter. It's pitch dark outside, so it's probably 1.30 in the p.m. Uh, we have the luxury today of having a few different arrangements of the ARB drawer systems placed in a couple different vehicles. So we want to take the opportunity and kind of show you around and see what kind of options you have. So in the back of this 2010 LX570, this is the most traditional use of the ARB drawer system. ARB makes the drawers in a multitude of different lengths. Uh, on all of the Land Cruisers, 60, 80, 100, and 200, we're using what they call the 1045 series. That has to do with the length in millimeters. Uh, so 10,045 millimeters lengthwise, that's just over about three feet. Um, does a good job fitting between the tailgate and the back seats. So all of it's 1045. There's a prefix to that number, which would be an RD, an R, uh, RF, RDRF. And that's referring to whether you get a basic roller drawer, so RD1045, basic roller drawer. Uh, RDRF is a basic roller drawer with a roller floor. Uh, this is very popular for a refrigerator or a cooler. Uh, the roller floor rolls out towards you. So in the most traditional form, most commonly customer would choose a roller drawer with a fixed stop, RD1045, and a roller top for the refrigerator, RDRF1045 and then you would need a fit kit. The fit kits are vehicle specific. So there's a specific fit kit for an 80, a 100, and a 200. One of the beauties when using on the Land Cruiser platform with the ARB drawers is these do mount to existing holes in the floor that were originally used for the third row seat hardware. So this is a direct bolt-in. There's no drilling, there's no threading, there's no nuts underneath. Everything bolts directly to the existing floor of the car. So that's one of the huge, huge benefits. There's a lot of drawers available in the industry today and uh, ARB has always done that, um, so we really enjoy that part of it. The other nicety about the ARB drawers is the height. The height of these is all about 11 inches. 11 inches happens to be the sweet spot to line up when the second row seat is fold flat. It makes a nice platform. This platform can be used for loading long objects, or in many cases, you can put a, uh, a small mattress on the top and use for actually making a sleeping platform temporarily and then still having use of the second row seats. So that's another benefit that's a little unique to the ARB drawers. Doesn't really follow suit across all of the other drawers from other manufacturers in the marketplace. The third thing that's very unique about the ARB drawers is their roller system. Many of the universal drawers in the marketplace use a traditional roller slide, much like you would find on a toolbox. Um, it uses a slide with very small roller bearings. The challenge that we see with that is with the abuse and the vibration that you see in a vehicle use, you'll get little dimples and that roller system will become loose and clunky and rattly and make noise. ARB does a little different. Their drawers, the main body of their drawer is all steel, it's not wood. The steel creates a stronger structure for actually less weight than a comparable wood. This side profile is made out of stainless steel. This side profile is supported with a multitude of sealed roller bearings that roll along the top and bottom surface. Those roller bearings give this thing much more durability than a roller slide that you can just find and make your own drawers. The second part of this slide system is when the, when the drawer is closed, it actually latches between a mechanical latch in the front as well as two bumpers in the back. That keeps the drawer system from ever rocking back and forth, which you'll find when compared to another drawer that only locks it on the front face or on the slide and doesn't support the rest of the drawer. So that's some of the unique things about the ARB drawer system that you'll find when comparing it to other generic drawers if you ever wondered what the differences were. So we just showed you the most traditional way to use the ARB drawers. However, there is some other variables in there because it's not a one size fits all type of game. This is a good example with one drawer being the traditional 11 inch height and one drawer being what they call the half height drawer. This allows you to run a larger refrigerator or in some cases be used for a shorter person to try to get inside the drawers. This slides out with the roller top, much like the one we looked at previously. These have a lock in the open position, give a little nudge, goes back in. And then they do have a secondary drawer in the bottom that is, as discussed, half height. Uh, there is a little bit of compromise. The half height drawer does not have the nice floor bearings as the traditional drawers. So there is a little bit more drag, a little more friction that goes along with it, but you do, do still get the use of the drawer itself. Um, when using the half height drawer, there is a separate fit kit that makes up the sides. So although this has a standard 200 series Land Cruiser fit kit, being that we're in the back of a 2020 Land Cruiser, um, and additionally, you would buy a fit kit that makes up the difference of the half height up to the same fit kit size 
on the sides. Um, on this particular drawer, you can see that we have some tie-down rings. This is actually not an ARB part, but sold through the Slee Off-Road website. These are called the anchor tie-down rings. Now, one of the luxuries of these tie-down rings is one, they make a good secure platform to attach your fridge to. If you use an ARB fridge along with their tie-down kit, it goes right under the loops here. Um, a little different than how ARB intended with a permanent mount. These guys are nice, they're spring-loaded. They snap right into place with your fridge mounted and your straps here. In order to remove everything, you leave the straps attached to the fridge, pop these guys off, and the fridge comes out real quickly. The other nicety is if you wanna use this location for mounting something or temporarily loading something different than a fridge, you don't have the hardware in the way that's catching. On the previous door system we talked about, we had tie down rings on both sides. If you were to use that as a sleeping platform, these nice round discs don't get in the way of putting a mattress over. And if you needed to use that for tying down, say a set of the, the Wolfpack drawers or a Yeti cooler or anything of that nature, you could tie them down permanently and then take them off for easy use. So we find that we install these a lot and they work very well here at the shop at Slee Off-Road. One of the things you might have seen in the background and questioning is this item. This is a drawer that ARB calls their ARB Slide Kitchen. This is not yet available for sale. This is a pre-production version that we got the luxury of getting ahead of time and doing some, uh, some research on and playing around with and seeing what it's all about. Now, one of the neat things is there's a lot of features built into this. However, you do lose most of your storage that you would have with a drawer system, but the slide kitchen does extend quite far. The top is full stainless. You have a workstation that rotates out of the way and exposes a three burner stove. In addition to the work area in the stove, there's an additional drawer here on the side. Hidden in the drawer is a little sink that pops open. This stores water for washing dishes. Uh, it clips on the side here or clips on the side on the other side, depending if there's any impedance from your rear bumper swing outs. Uh, there's also an additional device that clips on the opposite side where you're not using this that holds your utensils for cooking as well as your spice rack. In addition to some of the different arrangement we have here, you can also see in the back, we have a cargo barrier. Cargo barrier is one of the many options that Airbnb offers to add on to their drawer system. Once completely installed, which is a little bit of a process, but once completely installed, the cargo barrier is held on with thumb screws. You can see the little red circles on there. The thumb screws allow you to unscrew those and then the barrier is quickly removed in case you need to use the entire cargo area to load something longer. With it installed, it's a great place for your pets that can't come through and get in the second row. It also allows you to load things in the back of the car all the way to the ceiling and keep them from falling over the second row. In addition to the cargo barrier, not seen here, there is what they call a cargo divider. It adds onto the cargo barrier. The cargo divider will mount here on the drawer and divide the, the rear of the vehicle into two sections. In addition to that, it has another shelf that attaches where the, where the uh, third row seat handles used to be and gives you another rack across the top so you can put smaller items, uh, boots, uh, jackets, things that you just want to stuff in that area so that you can load this area with gear all the way to the top. You don't have to worry about falling into your fridge when you move your fridge over and then allows you to get much of your small items up against the cargo liner. That is another option that's on there. So here we have a 2021 Heritage Land Cruiser that has yet another example of how to use the ARB drawer system. Here we have another half height, um, 1045 drawer. This has the same roller top for a taller fridge or a shorter person. Here we have the fixed top 1045 lower drawer and atop it, we actually have a shorter version, a 945 drawer that's also a fixed top. The shorter drawer is used so that the second row seat can still recline towards the drawer and not limit the function of the, the um, folding section of the seat or reclining section of the seat. So you can see how you can stack them. You can use them a couple different ways. On the sides, we have the standard 200 series fit kit. On this side, you can see the standard fit kit along with the additional panel for the half height drawer. Um, the fit kits all have removable tops on them. They have a little spring loaded latch as well as a uh, pocket and slot tab on the front to lock it into place. By removing these, you still retain additional storage around the wheel wells. Also, it allows you to get to the factory inverter plug on this side, and then all your jack and tools on the passenger side. Lastly, I wanted to talk about another accessory available for the drawer systems on a fixed top drawer. It does not work with the roller top drawer. On a fixed top drawer, there's an accessory for a stainless steel table that slides out of the top of the drawer. It's pretty handy. Uh, it slides out on its own. It also comes out along with the drawer itself and then slides out further. 
Although it's a nice place to work, it's stainless steel, you don't have to worry about burning things, you can make a mess and wipe it all off. It does add for a little bit of more challenge to get in and out of the drawer if you're trying to do so in a hurry. Uh, with it closed, you can't quite get into the drawer easily. You do have to open it up separately. So it is one extra step, but it may be a feature that is beneficial to you and your vehicle build. So thank you for following us along with our adventure of drawer systems. Uh, if you have any questions, please give us a call at the shop. We're happy to, ha happy to answer all your questions uh, in regards to setting up your drawer system. We also have a drawer system configure on the website that at your own convenience, you can go and take a look at. Remember, uh, sleeoffroad.com and uh, we're here to help you.